Doctor, you've presented papers at national and international hernia societies on tailoring the hernia. Uh, so this surgical technique is, is something that you do with the patient. So how do you do that? Well, I think it's very important uh, when one decides which hernia procedure to do uh, is uh, the, the most important thing is to have the skill in the procedure that you select. So I don't do robotic hernia surgery or even laparoscopic hernia surgery. I don't have the expertise and years ago, even though I do only hernias, I didn't see the advantage of doing those. Okay. Uh, I still praise a lot of the doctors who do them. They're very skilled. Uh, I think sometimes robotic repair of hernias might be a little uh, much in terms of what needs to be done and there's some concern about costs. So I basically select the patient and I examine the patient and see what the patient needs. And there are some patients, for instance, uh, one of the p possible problems after hernia surgery is the ability to go out and lift and do normal activities. Mm -hmm. If someone is elderly and they're really not very active, I might choose a, a procedure that might not be as strong for that patient compared to a 28-year-old man who's a mason or wor works as a carpenter who I know is going to be needing that extra strength. Right. Most hernias have very significant strength. Most of the repairs have significant strength after they're completed. Uh, but we don't like to see a hernia come back, which we call a recurrence. Right. And so if you select the proper technique according to your skill as a surgeon and then according to what the needs of the patient are, uh, and then sometimes you have to assess other comorbidities in the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you, don't, you may not want to do a, a deep general anesthesia in a patient that has significant heart disease, so you try to do that under local. So there are many, many factors that go into selecting the procedure for the patient, again, according to the skills and abilities of the surgeon.